the blueprint lays out the roles and responsibilities to enhance our partnership between the private sector and the public sector, bringing together state and local governments with the federal government to ensure that we can accomplish and achieve our core principles and objectives. We can have the first slide. The core elements of the testing hey. plan include both three elements, robust diagnostic testing plans developed in partnerships with state, and I just really want to thank the governors and the health officials, both at the state and local levels, who've been working with us day and night to work through these issues, and also all the laboratory directors in many of the states, as well as the American Society for Microbiology, who've been working with us to ensure that the plans were efficient and effective. Within the robust diagnostic testing plans, it was really unlocking the full capacity of the state, increasing the number of testing platforms. We now have multiple tests for different platforms, increasing the ability to collect samples, increasing testing and laboratory supplies, and ensuring that we work together to make sure that every client receives the tests that they need. This is added with timely monitoring systems. And what do I mean by that? It's systems where we bring together the ability to not only diagnose the symptomatic, but pro proactively and interactively work with individuals that we know are at higher risk. We've worked with states to look at where the outbreaks have occurred when they're not in the large metros, and we see that it occurs very often in places of closed settings among our Native Americans and among our long-term care facilities. So an active monitoring program that's active, integrated, and innovative. And then combining us with the third element, which is the rapid response program relying on CDC to be working with state and local governments to ensure that every symptomatic case and critically the asymptomatic cases are quickly tracked and traced to ensure that we can not only control this epidemic but predict outbreaks before they expand. And then finally, the plan includes approach of using science and technology to develop even newer platforms, more efficient testing, really ensuring that the antibody tests that are utilized and recommended by both FDA and CDC have high quality in predicting both um, exposure to the virus and antibody development. And then finally, working on innovative tests that could be high throughput and point of care, an antigen-based test or a point of care expanded nucleic acid test. Thank you.